I asked before the break whether this rally has legs, so we brought back J.C. O'Hare, Chief Market Technician over at Phoenix Partners. He's going to try to help us figure this out, and he has a very interesting chart. you got to pay attention. It's a little wonky, but you want to pay attention here. J.C., what are we looking at, and help us understand why this is important. Very simply, we're looking at the advanced decline line on the S&P 500. And the beautiful part about this indicator is it's very simple to use and it gives you a great idea and great indication to the breadth of the market and the internal market strength. All right, explain to our viewers how it's calculated so we can start to understand why it's relevant. We're looking at the S&P 500 constituents. So we're looking at the advancers on one day minus the decliners. And basically what you're looking for is to see the market move higher with more advancers than decliners. And by the way, it's not just an oscillator that goes back and forth. In other words, you subtract the decliners from the advancers on any given day and set it back to zero. You actually add that to the previous day's number, right? It's That's what makes it cumulative. Number. It's cumulative, so, exactly. So you get the sense for over time. Exactly. And what you want to see in this indicator is the market moving higher, making new highs, as well as this advanced decline ratio, or line, I'm sorry, making yeah. new highs. And that's basically telling you the majority of the stocks are actually participating and also moving higher. Well, as I look at this chart, what also jumps out at me is, you know, you go back really two years, it's been pretty consistent. I mean, that's a pretty strong action, isn't it? It's very strong. And actually, I don't think we have the chart that goes back far enough, but you know, I'll give you guys at home some homework to do. Look at 2007, 2008. What broke first before the market did? The advanced decline line. So it gave you a pretty good idea of the toppiness of the market. And by the way, I think we've also got a 20-day uh, moving average, kind of a short-term indication that we can add to that chart so we get a sense for what the trend is. And we're going to put that line in, in yellow. I know it's kind of tough to see, but that actually gives me cause for pause, and I'll show you why. If, if uh, we can bring the camera in here, I just want to zoom in and look at how the, the average here is starting to kind of curve. Is that a cause for pause, JC? Well, what I look at it is the average, and I use a very basic trading strategy. I'll be long when your 80 line is above a 20-day moving average as well as the S&P 500 is above its 20-day moving average. And that is still the case. And that is still the case right now. Last Tuesday, when the market had that 1.5% pullback, we kind of got out of the trade, but then the next day we got right back in the trade. All right, J.C. O'Hare from Phoenix Partners, thanks for sticking around.